Welcome to my series on raising Coturnix quail, in which I try to cover everything you need to know in order to easily produce your fresh eggs in a small space. As a bonus, I also show you how to turn their waste into the best organic fertilizer for your fruits, vegetables, and flowers. In this video, I'll be talking about how to keep your birds healthy by addressing three different things, food, water, and sand baths. Besides these three important things, in previous videos, I've already addressed the importance of good ventilation, keeping the cage clean, and predator proofing. Let's talk first about the quail's diet. What do you feed your Coturnix quail? I feed them a high protein diet from day one. I use Purina Game Bird Chow Stratina. It comes in this brown bag. You can get it online, but it was a lot more expensive than buying it at the feed store. It is a 30% protein feed and I crush it up for the babies. Quail keeping is not popular yet where I live, so the feed store doesn't stock them. I usually have to call about two weeks ahead so the feed store can special order a few bags for me. One of my goals in doing these videos is to get the word out about these wonderful birds and make it less intimidating for everyone to get started. So if you find these videos helpful, please help me spread the word. I think everyone deserves some homegrown fresh eggs, don't you think? Now back to their food. I supplement with some greens from my garden black soldier fly larvae, earthworms, and other bugs. I also feed their shells back to them for some extra calcium. I know some people add oyster shell to the feed, but I don't. There are people who raise mealworms to feed their quail. It's important to keep their feeders clean and free from mold. I'm a big fan of homemade feeders. They've worked really well for me. The links are down below if you want to mix them. Store-bought feeders can work also, of course. It's important that my quail have fresh water available to them all the time. This is accomplished by automatic waterers. I will now explain how I put one together. It's not very hard. I buy these watering cups from Amazon. There are several ways I use these cups. One thing is I always wrap a bit of plumber's tape on the threads to help prevent leaks. In this setup, I drilled holes directly into the PVC pipe. I cap off the end. I don't use PVC glue because I want to be able to flush out the setup once in a while. Instead, I use a little bit of Vaseline to prevent leaks. I like using five gallon buckets as my water reservoir because they can store a lot of water. I painted it black because I wanted it to last longer. I will show you how to get water from the reservoir to the cups. I'll demonstrate using a clear container so you can see what I'm doing. I use a male and a female adapter. One piece will go on the inside of the bucket and the other piece will go on the outside. I always wrap a little bit of plumber's tape around the thread to help prevent leaks. I cut out a piece of rubber ring to line the inside of the bucket. So pretend this container here, this is a hole at the bottom of a bucket. I'm using a clear container so you can see what I'm doing. Now I can connect the PVC pipe to the bottom of the bucket. And now connect this PVC pipe to the drinking cups. Fill the bucket with water. Water will flow from the bottom of the bucket through these pipes and eventually to the drinking cups.
I prime the cup with some water and as the quail drink the water their beaks are going to touch the yellow part in the middle there and it is spring loaded so as they touch it more water is going to come out and this is how my quail can have access to clean drinking water all the time Providing my quail with a sand bath is really important to their health. Sand bathing keeps the feathers healthy and also smother any mites or any other parasites that might be present. I use this kind of sand. I hope you found these tips to be helpful in keeping your quail healthy. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for letting me share this amazing hobby with you. If you're curious about raising Quaternix quail in your space, please check out my other videos. I hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Bye!